Hello, Carol Taylor Carney here at Palian Arts. I'm here with Bethany Oliveri, and we're sitting with her beautiful painting between us, and Bethany is going to introduce us to this painting. Okay, so this um, painting is titled Born This Way. It's oil on canvas. Um, basically, I love painting portraits. Specifically, I love doing portraits of theater and um, more expressive uh, portraits and also I just really love Lady Gaga so this is one of more of my favorites. Um, I chose this picture specifically even though there's like a million pictures of Lady Gaga because I love just the makeup. I never really got to explore like makeup and portraits especially <laughs> like such expressive colors so it was really fun. I feel like I was almost doing her makeup while I was painting because I got to do <laughs> all of the lipstick and the eyeliner. Um, <laughs> well, you're very specific, too, about her palette, because on the one hand, you can sit there and say, well, you know, in the picture, she mm -hmm. had blue eye shadow and some lipstick on, mm -hmm. but you've gone and um, done it in such a way where uh, it's not just red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. We see this line under here. We see where some of it gets washed out. And you're choosing the palette, mm -hmm. especially like these little oranges and, and things like that. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about your palette? Um, so I really, the way that I started it was I worked with the eyes and then the lips. And then basically I just took a really uh, like medium-sized blunt brush. And the great thing about oil is that it takes forever to dry. So I just kind of had white here. It was all white. I basically did it as if I was applying her makeup. I did um, this area and this area, and then I just kind of went back and forth and just blended it, and whatever happened sort of happened, so it doesn't look too much like the picture, but um, I did a few just like blotches, and then I would just blend it out, like almost like with a beauty blender on somebody's face. So are you using a fairly limited palette, like when you're actually choosing the colors because you're going to do so much blending, like with with the other colors? Yeah, for this one specifically, I think I really only hyper-focused on the colors here. These colors are pretty true to the photo, and same here. Everything else that kind of happened was just whatever got picked up. You know, I would like take the brush and I would go down like this, or I would go up like this, so I got kind of a mix of where some of this purple kind of gets introduced, yeah. and you can see some of the black here also kind of gets introduced. Yeah, which is nice because it's almost like you're blending a limited amount of colors on the Together, yeah. yeah. I also like some of the texture effects that you're getting. Mm -hmm. um, we have this brushiness that goes and, and gives us a, a nice feeling of texture. You're not sure if it's fabric or hair, but you really get a texture. And then this whole area here, you want to tell us how you did that? Um, so I, when I was being taught how to paint, um, I was always told by my instructor to never use out of the tube black. So now it's sort of a phobia a little bit. So I knew specifically that I wanted, um, sometimes I'll either do like a red and a dark brown, like to sort of get uh, a warm black. But for this one specifically, I knew since there's such a heavy emphasis on the blue, I really wanted to add blue. So if you like get up really, really close, you can sort of see a tint of blue. Um, but I just applied that uh, with a brush. And I want to make sure it was almost really flat. I feel like it adds sort of this like poppiness because... Um, well, yeah, and you can see the texture, yeah. which is which is not always the case, which adds like another dimension. Yeah, I didn't want to be like super specific and add tons of detail into these little areas. And also this is sort of a piece that I sort of let myself go a little bit. I'm very hyper specific. I like to really focus on the little details. I thought that this would kind of be a perfect one. Like she's not about the details like that. She's not, you know, all put together. So I thought it'd be nice to explore sort of. I have a lot of like rough edges and not everything is perfectly blended because I can spend hours just like going back over and making sure the skin is perfect. But for this one, I actually liked how I sort of left some emptiness here, and yeah. it's like not all perfect. <laughs> yeah, it becomes a really nice sh and dynamic shape mm -hmm. here that just draws them right back down into it, to her face. Mm -hmm. You're always going to get drawn to eyes, and you did so much great detail in the eyes, but this whole thing just brings you down mm -hmm. to the ground right in there.
Also, um, you said that uh, like uh, you wanted to give a pop feel to this, and I think what's interesting about that is Lady Gaga has that whole album that's yes. called Pop um, that's about yeah. pop art. Yeah. Uh, do you generally uh, enjoy pop art and things like that? Um, I actually just started researching because of school and classes. Mm -hmm. um, I just started researching more about pop art. It's not something that I previously considered, but now I'm like really into it. I started researching Keith. Uh, Keith Haring. Oh yeah, and now I'm like all into it. Like I just want to learn more. I know he's a. Um, some of his works are actually going to be displayed in Philly, um, so I'm like all excited to go see that because it's not something that I'm usually used to. I'm more trained in photorealism, mm -hmm. so now I'm like now that I know that these options are out there, I'm like ready to explore a little bit. <laughs> be this young and discover things for the first yeah. time. This is you're in a great very kind of no, you're in a great <laughs> no. It's a very exciting time. It I'm is. Serious. It is. Yeah. Enjoy, enjoy it because it's exciting. Mm -hmm. One of the questions I was going to ask you had to do with I could see that you're all into the pop music mm -hmm. um, genre. Uh, what artists are you looking at? And I'm so glad that you said Keith Haring and that you're really looking closely at pop art. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, definitely um, Andy Warhol is obviously a classic. I've heard about him before, but now this is the first time I'm actually going and like looking at how they develop their styles, what makes them so, um, like how they just sort of learned how to do what they do. Um, but also, like I'm kind of really into expressive drawing lately because um, I'm taking an expressive drawing class. That's something I would have never touched in a million years. Like too scared to even like <laughs> dive into that world. Um, but but now, that gives your lines meaning. Yeah, no, exactly. Now I'm learning like, oh, it doesn't have to just be like a photorealistic portrait now. Like I'm kind of excited to start mixing maybe paint with some expressiveness, try some abstract paintings. I've never done that really before. So um, it's really exciting. I'm just kind of especially looking like my one professor, um, his name is uh, Herbert Appleson. Yep. Yeah, and he was he actually a dog. Yeah, dog. <laughs> Everyone knows dog. I always, I like looked him up to see his work and I was like, wow, like he's like a really established artist. You, know, you don't really think that your professors are like, you think of them as teachers and then you actually look at their work and it's like, oh wow, like, <laughs> yeah, his work's really cool. I really like what he does. Yeah, and and he's that he has um, been trained by some yes. of those people yes. you hear about in art history, and he has gone and taken it and made it his own. Mm -hmm. The stories Wait, so he tells, doing? yeah. I always think of it like, uh, a, like everybody talks about like plan and structure, and the thing is, as I say, it's not quite. It is that, but it's but, also that like it's more like you're developing a toolbox. Yes. And so then when you want to express something, you can pull that tool out all and you can use things. all different combinations of things, which yeah. makes you much more adaptable and mm -hmm. you can let your creativity flow. Yeah. Yeah. No, you've done a beautiful job with that. And um, I don't know what I'm going to say, but <laughs> I had something there. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 you know what it is. I especially um, want to commend you for your use of negative space, that these dark areas are such strong negative spaces mm -hmm. and you didn't let them take over. And you and um, this could have become something that is just so flattened mm -hmm. and yet you have given us such rich depth in, in bringing it all together that um, you really should be commended for that. It's, it's really quite beautiful. And I love the shine. It, everyone, look at the shine. Yeah. <laughs> that's why oil is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. And that's just a spray varnish. Yeah. yeah. I'm too but, scared to go to the liquid varnish. <laughs> but, but you know what? Um, there are so many people who just use the oil paint and mm -hmm. leave it like that, don't realize about the varnish and the medium yeah. that you can start to, to put in mm -hmm. and have those different textures working together in your painting. Yeah. It yeah, because yeah, it does a nice job of guiding your eye through the lines of your gesture mm -hmm. and things so which uh dr char was talking about which uh that basically it adds interest so that you're taking a journey through the piece so that you can find something interesting over and over and over again another great roman yeah teacher so i hope you come in and see this beautiful beautiful work at palais arts through 
during our jury show from March 17th through the end of May. Thank you.